Welcome to Template Stack 3 Minute Feature Videos. This video aims to demonstrate you the details about the dependency injection feature, which is included in most of our templates. The dependency injection, or also called inversion of control containers, is a design pattern that allows us to create more abstract applications and use interfaces instead of instances of classes. It sounds a little bit scary at the beginning, but actually it's just a configuration that is even integrated in some of the latest frameworks like Angular 4 and .NET Core. This concept is strongly related to the object-oriented programming and it aims to help us with a couple of things. Firstly, we no longer depend on specific implementation of a class and this allows the components to be tested through mocking of dependencies. Also, we can swap dependency implementations in different environments like test environment or production. There are a lot more advantages, but the video aims to demonstrate the current configuration. In the old MVC5 .NET applications, the dependency injection is not integrated and you have to install NuGet package, like Autofuck or Ninject, or something similar. For our MVC5 templates, we use Autofuck. When installed it from the package manager, it comes with a autoconfig file. Of course, it has a default configurations, but we have added a few more. All we have to do is to register our dependencies in the register service method. This can be done in a couple of ways. Firstly, you can register your services one by one. I don't recommend that, but sometimes it is the only way. Like in cases when you don't follow some inner convention, like the one introduced in our templates. The convention is simple, just create a tuple of interface and class that implements the interface and name them equally, with the exception of the i prefix of the interface, and also make them end up with service suffix. Doing that, you can make an example of a tuple in the register service method and tell the container to follow this convention for all similar tuples in the same assembly like in this example here. Beside that, you have an option to set up a type of the instance that you'll be provided with. Here, we get new instance for each new request. You have a couple more options like using a single instance or so-called singleton. Moreover, you can tell that some class have auto-wired properties which is proven as very useful for base classes. And this is why it is set up here. Bottom line, it depends on what you're trying to achieve. There are a lot more configurations that can be added, but this is enough for starter. For more information about the rest of the features, check out the other three minute feature videos.